Hey, what's going on guys? Dallas here. Um, quick uh, lesson on a couple, we'll say a few. Um, actually, let's say more than a few. Let's say my four. Uh, uh, four of my favorite bends. We won't say my four favorite bends because whatever one I'm doing at the moment is probably my favorite unless it just sounds bad, but no, I'm just kidding. But um, here's four that I like. Anyway, um, so let's stick with A. All right, so let's do these in A. Um, <clears throat> they're going to kind of vary through like major and minor kind of licks. Um, bends, I'll explain them as I do them. So first let's do... Which is a classic, right? So... Kind of hard to do this one in A, but I just want to do all these in A. Um, just to keep it uniform here. Um, but uh, as you get down the neck, this one gets way easier, obviously. Right, so, um, you know, what you're doing on this one here is you are, you're bending up to the third there, from the two, you're bending up to that third, you're getting that note, right, so, so you're, you're I'm sorry, you're on your fourth, uh, on your G string, you're on your fourth fret, and you're trying to get up a full, a full, trying to get up a full a full tone right right two frets a whole tone so we're trying to get up a whole, a whole tone to that major third while also holding five on your uh, B string with your pinky because that's that's your E right so that's your fifth right so so you hold those together one of my favorite bends. I'm doing that all the time. Uh, next, let's shift it down to like our cowboy position in like our A minor pentatonic kind of region here. And um, I love this like unison bend here. And uh, you know, this is just your fit, your five right here, right? We just kind of were in. We just. We just kind of had that note there in our last one. Um, so that uh, you've got your five, and you're gonna bend your 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 four up to your flat five, and past it. But you can get that flat five, and but you're gonna get it up to five. So you can get that four to eventually blend in with your your holding five there on. So, okay, I'm sorry, guys. That's five on your B string, which is also the fifth. I probably wasn't explaining, being clear about that. That's also the fifth, because I'm trying to explain what these bends are. Right? So that's also the fifth of A, because we're in A, right? So, um, but it was kind of confusing there, because you're also on the fifth fret. <laughs> sorry about that. God, my bad. Uh, fifth fret on your B string. And then you're gonna, that's the, your anchor. And then you're gonna, on your seventh fret on your G string, you're gonna bend up. And you can, you can get that, that half note in there too, cause that's your flat five. So that's kind of cool. So you got a lot of, lot of lenience with this one. You know, you can kind of do it slowly or right up there. Lots of, you know, Obviously, lots of Chuck Berry stuff and all that kind of good old time rock and roll stuff in there. Um, and then right below it, you know, you have your root note at the fifth fret high E string. And then you've got your flat seven there on your uh, B string on your eighth fret. So, same thing. You can bend that up to your, to your root note, right? So, anchor, fifth fret on your high E. And bend that up to, to the root on your B string. One of that's one of the first bends you should learn and love, and you know, you know, just practice nailing those, you know, because you'll use those a lot. So um, that my fourth one, um, let's shift all the way down here, and we're gonna bend. 
So we're gonna bend, we're gonna start, we're gonna anchor here on the root note on the 10th fret on your B string. So that's an A, right? So that's our root note. And then we're gonna, this is like a blues move. So it really, sounds real good to do over the five chord. And you're gonna bend that E up, which is your, on your, the 12th uh, fret on your high E string. So you're gonna, and it's also an E note. God, we keep having this happen to us, you guys. Now, a lot of the times that sounds good when you're playing a blues. So if you're playing a blues in A, when you get to the D, it sounds really good to do that. Now, that's obviously functioning differently because you're playing it over a D, or like a D7, right? <coughs> Excuse me, I had to clear my throat there. Um, so those notes are functioning different. So when I say you're playing the root to the to the five and bending bending that up to the six major six um i'm talking about in the key of of in the scale of a there but if you're playing it over the d7 that's that's functioning different but it sounds so good still because that major six you're bending up to an f sharp which is an f sharp is in a d right so that's your i think that's your the three right or the five or no the three i'm sorry yeah that's the third duh uh what's wrong with me today you guys so anyway so um yeah those are four bends that absolutely are to me some go-to's ones that you can just kind of learn where they are memorize where they are in relation to the scale you're using or, or or you know the chords you're working off of and um you know, and just go from there, and you have a few that are go-tos in your bag. So, I um, hope that helps. Much love. Uh, if you'd be so kind, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the flip. All right, later.